right, guys. Uh, PD call, come in. This road is no fun. This road is narrow and skinny and steep on that side and kind of collapsing on that side, too. Okay, oh goodness. Your destination is on the left. A log in between the tire and the uh, yeah. and the wheel well. I think it's just a chalk. It doesn't look like it goes all the way through. Yeah, I didn't <laughs> yeah, it's just right there. We'll just leave it alone for right now. This log right here. I'll get the truck ready. Okay. You doing one or two? Okay. He didn't sound excited. <laughs> <laughs> no, but you can just imagine where I'm at. You don't get off at 10? I'm at, I'm at flight 8. Oh, no. I'm smack dab in the middle. You're going to see all the fun. I was smack dab right the oh, same spot last night. Really? You get all the exciting stuff in. Are you just walking? Or you have your car there too? Or? Uh, I don't know. It's, it's your question. Up in the air still. Whatever they want me to do. <laughs> I'll have a say. But he said everybody's okay, and as soon as it happened, he just stopped and made everybody get out. I said, that's exactly what you should do. <laughs> yeah, that's kind of crazy. Um, it is slick. It's funny. Uh, me and Kristen were just talking. It, it just started raining. Within 10 minutes, I said, well, I guess we better be ready. Because here in just a few, we'll be winching somebody out. Yeah, it was uh, just a few minutes later. Yeah. Roads are crazy, guys, especially when they're steep. 
steep and rainy, you know what we get because you guys watch the channel. If you don't watch the channel, then you should watch more of the channel. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, let us show you uh, show you exactly why. He's okay. It was a Honda Odyssey. Had one tire up in the air. But yeah, I'm getting ready for, I guess, some fireworks tonight here. The officer was talking about uh, fireworks and... Uh, He's got a certain portion of the town that he's he's working tonight, and uh, <laughs> I bet he's got his hands full. They, uh, anytime we have any sort of big event like this, you know, the Space Needle puts off fireworks, and it's smack dab in the middle of town. You got fireworks and that's parties and alcohol. And that's where he's stationed. It's right by the Space Needle. Is he really? Yes. Oh, yeah. My goodness. Bless his heart. <laughs> he's gonna be busy. <laughs> But yeah, to all my GP officers, stay safe out there and don't get hit by any fireworks. Mm. Crazy people. They'll be in full order tonight. Uh, but it'll be fun. Everybody will have a good time. It's always a good time. Downtown, they put on an excellent show. Uh, the parade was last night. I didn't get to partake in the parade. You know, we're a small company, guys. We're, we're a small business. I don't, I don't have like trucks that we put into the parade we're not working our trucks we don't uh, we can't uh, can't afford to uh, to be in the parade maybe next year maybe next year we'll we'll grow a little bit more and we'll get to, we'll get to enjoy the parade and uh, all of its festivities it's cool it's cool meeting everybody and you know, we get to meet everybody every day you know, every day is a parade for us it so. sure is. super cool mm -hmm. we appreciate everybody uh, out there and I, I had somebody reach out to me this morning in a, in a message and said Jeff you know I've been watching you Kristen I've, I've seen almost every episode and I just want you to know that you know, I'm sorry that I haven't haven't uh, supported you I guess in the channel because he heard, heard me talking about my play button and oh, yeah. and uh, we're getting close to our 100k and uh, channels growing he said he goes I stopped what I was doing and I went and I subscribed to your channel finally so I've been watching for years he said but I always watch on my TV and said you should put a message out there a public service announcement stating that uh, what he did worked and he said I, I just sat down I got on my smartphone and I went to your channel and I subscribed he said I just couldn't figure out how to do that on my on my TV and you know we've discussed this before guys we you know sometimes the TV is, is hard to navigate get buttons and things like that but regardless guys we appreciate you watching and we appreciate the support and all yes. of the all of the cool people amazing people out there that have brought us things and, and gifts and um mr monroe yeah. gary monroe he just had his 80th birthday 80 the big 80 gary gary's gary's a really a special part of the channel I, he he has been amazing on keeping us up with uh, artwork mm -hmm. and uh, i will promise uh, as soon as things i get a breather i'm going to put together the gary artwork notebook he's even sent uh, a few more here here recently that i haven't gotten up on the channel but uh, again happy birthday to gary and i will get gary's artwork together so you guys can flip through that and, and see that on the channel because i cannot keep that all to myself that needs to be out there For sure. to the youtube world to see because it's just it's just really cool that he takes the time out of his day to to, to make this stuff and send it to us and i think i told his daughter um she she messaged me and i, and I told her that this gary and this is this is to you, Gary. If you're watching tonight, thank you so much for the smiles because mm -hmm. we can open that that mailbox and I, and I know that 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 pack that you send me, I'm gonna flip through it and we get some laughs and giggles out of it. So it brings it brings a lot of smiles to not only us but our whole family. Our whole family watches and and checks those uh, checks those things out. Like I said, I just want to share it with YouTube and and I have I have shared a few. If you guys haven't seen any of our videos out there you know that yeah, we've got quite a few of those but we've got a lot more but anyway happy birthday gary we appreciate you what else is new here in, in town did you want to address the microphones microphones go ahead uh you said that somebody messaged and they were complaining that we didn't have microphones in the older videos yeah i mean if you're new to the channel uh which we've gotten 20, 20 some five. thousand new viewers out there you know if you're going through and you're you're catching up to see what our family is about and what we're doing here. Uh, just know that those older videos, we were a bit stubborn on getting microphones. So all of our new videos, like I've got one on now, uh, the microphones make a tremendous difference on, on the audio. So I do apologize. Uh, our daughter Kendra did, did an amazing job on, on 
putting some subtitles out there in most of the things. But uh, just note some of the older videos, they're not all, but we, we, we fixed it. So we fixed a lot of things. Yes. Uh, we're getting going. We've got uh, new equipment, new trucks, and suspenders. <laughs> that was the best fix ever. <laughs> let, me, let me gear up. So, suspender, let's do some suspender talk. So, I just had a birthday. Happy birthday. On the second, 45 years old, and I decided it's, it's the time in my life to get, to maybe do the transition between a belt and suspenders. So, um, if, if you see the suspenders under the shirt, I'm going under the shirt with suspenders, which is, is a good thing and a bad thing. I'll try to discuss that. but. The good thing is my pants are not falling down all the time. I'm not constantly <laughs> pulling them up. You guys, a Kendra's doesn't have to edit out my butt crack. And I, uh, you know, it's just it's just a thing. You're crawling around under cars and you lose things like that, like pants. You just lose them. <laughs> and, uh, but the bad thing is, is it's the exact opposite. So you're constantly pulling your pants up with a belt and with suspenders, you're constantly pulling them down because they never quit coming up. Uh, so if you see me out there in a video, my pants are up around uh, my neck and uh, I'm struggling to try to pull. So just know that that's what's going on because they're under my shirt. They're not uh, They're not on the outside. I, I'm not fully dressed. So the, that, that's that's like a 60 move there. You when I, when I'm late 60s, the then, then the suspension will come to the outside of the shirt and not the inside of the shirt. The other bad thing with the inside of the shirt is that you have to get naked to use the bathroom. <laughs> so it's like, it's like a romper, I guess. Uh, <laughs> So, <laughs> if uh, if you see me like ripping clothes off, running into the woods, then uh, just know that I had to use the bathroom really bad. So, um, I guess that's the downfall of, of, uh, of suspenders. And, uh, anyway, that's enough about that. I'm going to turn you guys back around. We are uh, on the spur. It's a rainy day, so I, hopefully the uh, the rain will kind of uh, wet down some of the areas because fireworks are dangerous. Those guys out there, they're letting off fireworks. We don't want to catch, we don't need more wildfires down no, here. No, so. no, definitely do not. Wildfires are not a good thing. So I, I'm kind of happy to see the rain come right before the fireworks show because I'm sure that puts all of the uh, the fire the fire department on uh, a little bit of ease. So big thanks to the fire department. You guys are fast and efficient at what you do, and we appreciate you. But they're going to be on high alert tonight, no doubt. There's no doubt. The sun's starting to come out. It'll be good for the show. Uh, Pigeon Floor just putting on, and I don't even know who's here. They do a pretty cool band every year, and I'm, I apologize. I'm not kept up with it. I'm not. I've just been so busy. They, they do a free concert at Patriot Park, and they have like fair foods and all kinds of stuff, and like booths set up where you can do things, and, and it's just really cool. And they always have like a really big headliner. One year they had Brooks and Dunn. They had who else did they have? The Anderson guy. Yeah. And yeah. And it's always like a big name, somebody that you recognize. But uh, John Anderson, I think. John Anderson. Was. Yeah, he was. But yeah, they always have Clint Black. I think was here one year. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they've got some good ones. I mean, it's a good time. They've got all of the food trucks and stuff like that set up over there. And ICs, you can get a brain freeze and watch uh, <laughs> people do people things. Mm. But it's, it's really cool. Plenty of places to park over here unless you have a an RV with a UTV in the back and a 40-foot camper. <laughs> and then you're probably going to have a hard time parking that. If you've not seen that video, it's probably coming soon. But Peak Jeep Tours, even if it's raining, put a piece of plastic up. They will keep you dry, hot sweating in there with everybody else like a sweat box they zip you up in there <laughs> let everybody trip all over each other oh my goodness i hope it's family i was gonna say hopefully they have ac in there oh no there's you know there's no ac so like yeah they try to keep the family together so family members on the right and the left you can't intermix that because yeah you'd be sweating on people you don't know that would be cool. anyway uh stick around stay tuned i am going to finished making my way here into Pigeon Forge. It's been a God, late, been late nights, guys. Been up into Kate's Cove quite a bit, trying to do those rescues. We try to do those after hours because, I mean, I've seen Kate, Kate's Cove and I don't want to like spend four hours in there, so we try to go in after hours to get those. So uh, it'll probably be another late evening trying to get some of those cars out of there. Maybe, I don't know. Regardless, we've got lots of cool things. Festivities, fireworks. I don't know how, much, how many of those fireworks I'll get on video. Those to me are kind of boring. 
it, it, it would be cool if we could get over to the Dollywood and see if we could get the drone show. The drone like, show would yeah. be super cool. Now that's something for sure on video. Fireworks, yeah, everybody sees videos of fireworks. But the drone show, now that, that might be really cool. So I'll, I'll see what I can do if we're not uh, super swamped and busy, but at some point in time, I will get you guys that video. That's that, I'm off. I have to say, this is one of my favorite things about living in a vacation town. You get to see people like having fun. That is the that is awesome. That's a good time, guys, right there. Woo! <laughs> Love it. Yeah, that is awesome, guys. It's it's got to be a a favorite. Like you said, living here, everybody's everybody's happy. Everybody's having a good time. And it is fun. It is fun to see people having fun. Yeah, it is. Awesome. For those of you not from the south, those are cloggers. <laughs> yeah, it's, uh, you know, it's, it's one of those things that those dance uh, you don't see a lot of, and no. it's just really cool down here in the south. We, we get a lot of it, like you know, every every evening or every big event, there'll be there'll be somebody uh, clogging over here in one of these little back roads or <laughs> hills or hollers. <laughs> just really cool. Okay, guys, welcome back to the channel. We finally quit raining. And we got somebody stuck. We're right off of Upper Mill Creek Road here in Sevierville. Such a Continue tough one. straight onto Angela Star Street. Silverville. Sieverville. Sieverville. I've heard it called all kinds of things. So, what is this? Starcrest community up here? A bunch of cabins up here. Hundreds and hundreds. Oh. Is this them? Are they stepping up Rocco? Or truck? I don't want stuck. Your destination is on the right. Oh, they had a guy in a big truck trying to help. It's a Silverado. Goodness. Goodness. Kind of Ford took off. Looks like he was just trying to turn around. That's what it looks like. Hello. Oh. Oh. It's stuck here. It's broken there. Broke your drive shaft. Yikes. That's bad. That's bad, you know. Yeah. Hey, it broke his drive shaft. There's nothing holding it there, man. Yeah, <laughs> I know, I know. His park. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Just stay away from it because it's gonna. It's there's nothing holding it there. Thank you for coming. You know. Maybe it just came out. Maybe it's not broken. I don't know. Yeah, it's aluminum. It cut it in half. Oh, uh, okay. Okay. Well. I was trying to call a repair shop that I know, but they're closed. They won't be open until tomorrow. Yeah, I think we're just going to take it to the, the Chevy dealer. Yeah. There's one in this town, right? Yes. Well, it's severe bill, but it's it's about 20 minutes away. That's not too far? No, it's about 20 minutes. Okay. Yeah, it's not bad. How are we going to get the trip? Well, they'll be close tonight, so we'll just have to... I, I called and they said that we uh, close at 7, and I guess you can leave the, the kids in our mailbox. Yes, yeah. Leave your name and phone number. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, but I can do all that for you too. Yeah. yeah.
this back tire is going to come up over the curb, okay? It's going to feel weird. They drove this very nice truck here and they're staying here in this cabin and he said he was trying to to back into the driveway you can see the driveway there he was trying to back into the driveway to get down there because it's a weird setup down here and he has this big truck and it's probably hard to turn around there and he's trying to back in and uh just back over the curb instead and you can see took out a lot of the curb there they've been trying to dig their way out and unfortunately broke his drive shaft so this is going to the chevy dealer i hate that for him it's such a nice truck but they'll be able to fix him up yes ma'am i will get you all the receipts you need okay you're welcome we'll get you Yeah. If it's in four wheel, it should move from there. It should drive. Just move a little bit for a little bit stuck in the middle. Yeah. It would, yeah, it would go. Any other thoughts before I shut this off? Um, I'm glad he stopped and here's a second case of aluminum drive shafts that are just not I don't know if a steel one would have held up on that one though. Probably not. But the aluminum definitely won't. It just cuts it in half. But maybe you can just get a drive shaft for it and be okay. I hope. Okay guys, headed back down the hill here from Starcrest, I think it is. This is one of those rare occasions that he's not driving his car away from this winch out recovery. I, it really doesn't happen very often. Like. I, <laughs> I maybe maybe once twice a year we get them that that just have damaged something to where uh, you know we're towing them away. But this one, this one got the the drive shaft. What he was backing up into the driveway. They were staying there. Yeah, they were staying there, and there was a wonky turnaround at the bottom, and um, he just was trying to back in because it was weird down at the bottom. Yeah, and, uh, was, uh, he just missed. It's a crazy driveway, and you know backing in is. It's really tough too. I don't even know if the truck was equipped. I'm sure probably had a backup camera, but another one of those things. It doesn't show depth and uh, got him in trouble. Uh, the last Chevy, if you guys remember that video, uh, that guy went down into a little culvert and that culvert pipe cut that drive shaft in half. This is the same, essentially the same truck, same setup. Now we had that Gladiator that was in a similar situation where the drive shaft was on something, but it didn't break his. Yeah, it didn't break his. It was it was more of a steel. I don't for whatever reason Chevy's doing these aluminum drive shafts, and my goodness, they don't take no abuse. They're they're breaking them pretty quick there, but they're going to have fun, guys. They're it's it's really cool to meet folks like this that are still in amazing spirits. You know, yeah. through all this, you know, he's he's tore up his truck. He's uh, having it towed away. Going to have to have it fixed. They've, but through all of that, man, they were 
they were super excited. They're happy. They're going to go get uh, a buggy to rent, a little UTV, and they're going to enjoy the, their day. They're just kind of getting things started, and he was happy. He was happy. Got a rental car coming for them. They're going to get, take the rental cab over to get the buggy, and hopefully uh, the Chevy dealership can get him fixed up with a drive shaft. And he says it is what it is, and uh, they were smiling faces, which is just amazing. It's amazing folks. They, they, yeah, they were so nice. I like that. I don't... Mm -hmm. I don't like, never have negative thoughts, guys. Don't do the negativity. It's not worth it. It'll just drain you and, um, you know, always think about the, the positive. And the positive is, you know, he still has a truck that's really not damaged, just a dry shaft, no big deal. And uh, the truck's in good shape and they're still safe. They didn't get hurt, which could have been really crazy. He did the right thing. He had it in four wheel drive and that was the only thing that was keeping it up there was it was in four wheel drive because once the dry shaft's cut, you don't have park, nothing. You don't have anything. So parking brake gave me a little bit of trouble there trying to get it. That dry shaft, it was broke, so it wanted to dig into the bank and I had to have it super, super high up in the air to try to get that dry shaft to clear that bank. Got lucky, I guess. The guy that just pulled up before us was, he said he tried to pull him out or was gonna try to pull him out with a rope. And oh that would have not, that wasn't going anywhere. That dry shaft was a, a boat anchor. Okay, so let's say that the guy with the rope did pull him and that drive shaft was wedged up against that curb. What would have happened? He would have broke the rope or the chain. There's no okay. possible way that that, that that was not coming out of there because uh, it would have essentially went under the road mm -hmm. because it would have dug into that bank and the drive shaft would have went under the pavement. And uh, there's no... <laughs> You're not, you're not pulling that out of there. I don't care what kind of truck you got. Could have been bad. If you're tugging on it, and then uh, you break your toe strap or whatever you're hooked to, and then the truck goes back. And yeah, and while he was pulling it, they probably tried to have it, you know, off the brakes and everything, you know. And that's just so dangerous. So dangerous. Yeah, it's, it really is. But uh, got him out of there safely. Nobody's hurt. You know, everything went well. So it is busier now i thought you know gosh we're drained we're going hol holiday weekend the fourth we're going to do we're going to run and see what we can do and and it, it, we ran all weekend long and you think the fifth you would get a little bit of a, a break and, and be able to relax but t today is busier than it was on the fourth it's absolutely crazy so stick around stay tuned i'm sure we got more stuff coming your way we're going to get this thing dropped off at the chevy dealership and uh, move on to the next one Okay, YouTube, welcome back. Horse of a different color today, I guess. We got a mower that has slid down uh, an embankment, I guess, here and up against some trees, from what I understand. Oh, how close I can get to Your it. Your destination is on the left. Well, that looks interesting because they have a bridge that goes across from their driveway to their house, so I wonder. I wonder where the mower's at. That's a very good question which house it is. It doesn't look like anybody's mowed that stuff over here to my left, so I'm gonna guess he's down here to the stuff that looks like it's, I could be totally wrong. <laughs> this does look like it's been mowed. That one's a little bit taller. I'm gonna go out on a limb and say he's down there. That's gonna be fun, get the cable over there, or on the house. You got it, I guess. Yeah, I'll pay for I you got you. Got you. No, that's okay, man. I appreciate it. You know what happened? Oh, it's uh, slick. Yeah, it's slick. Well, it looked like it was dry, but as soon as I landed on it, it was not. And yeah. I went down there, and I, I peeled off that bark to make me a road. It looked yeah. like it was getting ready to climb it, but then it started sliding back down again. Yeah. I went back down there to look, and I noticed that that's brush down there. That I'm like, well, I'll just get down there and just move it out of the way. Yeah. And as soon as I got it out, I looked up and I saw your lights pull up. Um, yeah. But nah. I, I'll give you gas money. Nah, man, it's all, it's all good. It's all good. Are you sure? Yeah, no, it's good. I mean, I'd use you again, man. Yeah, just call us. We'll just do it that way. If you, if you need us again, just call us if you need us. It, it is what it is. <laughs> I mean, I, as soon as I was getting up here, I was yeah. going to call you. No, I understand. I, it, I don't it, got no service down there. Yeah, it's, it's bad. I'm glad you got it out before the rain. Yeah, I was. Have a good one, man. Give me your car. Yeah, yeah. You got one. I got a lot of customers in Wares Valley and stuff too, so you'd be my number one tow person. So appreciate it, man. I love. 
Yeah, we'll. Uh, yeah, like I said, I'm glad you got it before it rained. That could, Not that only. Yes. Comp nah, man, don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Well, like I said, you'll, you get in spots, man. Just, just remember us and call us next time. Okay. We, we remember, we appreciate that. That's the deal, man. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Thank you, man. Thank uh huh. All right, guys, that's what happens there. And I guess, ugh, insult to injury is I normally don't come over here to this area. We're up by the lake, so I kind of made an exception to come over here to help out the, uh, the guy, and he's like, ah. Got it out. It just so happens I got it out right as you pulled up. Mm. Such a good luck charm. I know. That's how it works. Anyway, guys, mowers are in, you know, aren't really any different than uh, cars. And when you go to mow a yard that looks like this, straight up and down, you can, you know, these guys got they got some crazy stuff going. You know, they, I, you could flip one of these things over and cut an arm or a leg off or something a little more important than that and really get hurt. So, anyway, I'm glad he got it out. He'll, uh, this won't be the last time. He'll call us again, so. But uh, anyway, stick around, stay tuned.